All right, guys, it is January 2022, and I know that a lot of you right now can't believe it's already here, but you're right, it is 2022, and now it's time to take action. So this 10-minute pep talk is specifically uh, geared towards helping you take the next steps to actually set some real goals for this year and not let it be January 2023 and you feel like the last 12 months you didn't get anywhere in your health and your fitness. So if you want help and if you need some specific guidance, keep listening. Okay, number one, and I'm going to go through a few things here. Um, I'm going to list them individually. I'm going to break them down in a way that I hope you can understand um, and actually take action on what I'm asking you to do. So number one, you need to measure your body fat percentage in the next month. So at some point by the end of January, you need to figure out where you stand. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. For our members here at the gym, we have an in-body scan, and you guys have access to that in your goal review sessions. So if you need to schedule a goal review session, now's a great time. Or if you just had a goal review session, then you already have your body composition. But this is a baseline. This is just to let you know where you're at. It kind of opens your eyes. It's almost like looking at your savings account and just seeing how where you stand today. Um, another way to do this, I know that some people have the body fat uh, percentage on their scales at home. And if you have that, well, that, then do that. That's that, you know, that can be kind of your current, um, metric to measure. And, and there's a few other forms out there. I know there's a, a very sophisticated version would be a DEXA scan, which actually measures bone density. And it has, uh, it's, it's a little bit more expensive to schedule. You have to schedule this typically at a doctor's office. Um, but it's a great time of year to do that. So um, don't just weigh yourself, get a body fat composition. This is going to tell you what your body fat percentage is, and then you can pretty much set a goal from there. Now, um, there's you know some standards out there that you can look into. Uh, 8 to 12% is ideal body composition, body fat percentage for a male. 18 to 22% is ideal for a female. And regardless of where you are, now's the time to set a goal by the end of the year. Now, let me warn you, uh, once you get this information, it could kind of be discouraging. Maybe you're at a place where in the last few months, or maybe the holidays got the best of you, or maybe you're very far away from the standard or the ideal, which you know many people are, well, don't let this discourage you. This is, you know, the same way that they they uh, use the illustration of, how, you know, how do you eat elephant one bite at a time? And, you know, I've heard of uh, different people who over the course of a six week period have lost as much as 5% body fat. Um, I have people that have lost, you know, even up to 10% body fat in a, a matter of six months. So, regardless of where you are, don't let that discourage you. But what I want you to do is, Figure that number out. And once you have that number, I want you to talk to somebody, don't let it just be you, who has guided other people in health and fitness goals prior to this conversation, and they can help you set a realistic goal by the end of the year. Now, if you work out at BoomFit, that is going to be one of your coaches, right? It's going to be myself. It's going to be your your goal review coach. It's going to be your personal trainer. Um, talk to one of us, and we will give you a goal by the end of the year. Now, the starting number, so for example, if you are sitting at 28%, and maybe you would like to be, uh, or maybe you meet with your coach, and they tell you that by the end of the year, you want to be 20% or below. Okay, so now you have 8% that you need to work on for this year. Now you need to create action steps for how are we going to lose 8% body fat? Well, body fat is lost really by changing our eating habits. It's not so much as the exercise is important, but the nutrition matters even more. So you have to make changes to your nutrition if you're going to lose body fat. So start setting some actionable steps. You know, one could be I'm going to um, actually food journal for the first month and I'm going to look at what enters my body and then I can make better decisions on nutrition after food journaling. For example, I can't just give generic 
recommendation here because there's a lot of different people listening who need to change a lot of different things. But one thing I know for a fact is that if you food journal for a month, and that just means enter your food in, even if you just write it down, but enter your food in to MyFitnessPal or some kind of app, it will expose what needs to be exposed. 1,000% it will expose you. So that will bring up glaringly obvious things that you're doing that are not helping you lose your body fat percentage. And based on that month of food journaling, you can set specific goals, right? Coming out of that. And then every three months, I want you to remeasure your body fat. And I want you to retest on the exact same device that you did the original test on. This is important because we need to be held accountable for our goals. So take, for example, the individual who's at 28% and wants to be at 20%. At April, in April, in the month of April, they're going to retest. And if they're at 26%, then they're making progress. If they're at 30%, then they've actually gone backwards. And now's the time that they need to change or they need to talk to the person who's helping them set that goal and figure out what they're not doing right. Now, there are two types of people who don't see results. Number one, the person that doesn't care and they're not trying anyway. Well, that person, I, I, I don't really think this applies to them because they don't care. So they're probably not even listening to the podcast. It's the other person that I'm more concerned about. It's the person that's trying really hard. And you know who you are because you are doing everything in your mind that's correct, but you're actually not getting results. You're, you might actually be increasing. So you went from 28 to 30% in a three-month period when you thought you were doing good things. That's the person I want to talk to right now. If that's you, you have to get help. You have to seek guidance. And it's not just getting a point of advice or a tip because what really you need is a plan, a structure, and you need to be held accountable to that plan. In other words, you can't just read a book or read an article or follow a diet and then execute. And then you you don't get the results you want because you're only thinking uh, with the mind, with your own mind. You're not having any external input. And therefore, when that happens, you get frustrated when you don't get results and you quit. Or you just think it doesn't work for you. Or maybe there's something wrong with you and that's not accurate. So you have to have someone. And for us, I think the best plan would be like a six-week challenge type of relationship where you have a assigned coach. They are telling you exactly what to do. And they're not only telling you what to do, they're checking on you every day. They're measuring your body composition every two weeks to make sure it works. But something to that level because... You don't need to do that anymore. You don't need to try something and then get frustrated because it doesn't work. So if that's you, make sure that you're seeking something more than whatever it is that got you to increase body fat percentage. And then again, let's do that every three months. So you're going to do again in July, another composition on the same device, and then you're going to do it again in October. And then that's going to help you keep track. So that's very important. Another thing that I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to go over today, so it is a 10-minute pep talk, but it, you know, if you want to listen to it in two doses, then you can, because I might actually go longer than uh, 10 minutes. Well, I know I'll go longer than 10 minutes. But so first, first thing you need to do, measure your body fat in the next month and find out uh, where you need to be by the end of the year that is not just your own goal, but you've, you've spoken to somebody who has actually guided people in goal setting before when it comes to health and weight loss and nutrition. Okay, number two, I want you to look back at 2021, and I want you to really assess and take more than five minutes to do this, how many times you worked out in the year. So for me, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I worked out nearly every day in 2021 with the exception of maybe, uh, maybe 10 to 15 days. So, it, you know, and I, and I only share that because I'm really, as I'm recalling it in my mind and I can go back to my calendar and I can look at specifically when, but for me moving forward in 2022, I think my goal would be to just do that again. Right. I mean, I go into every day, every week, Work with the intention of working out. I just love to work out. It, it for, I tell people it's my drug of choice. It, it makes 
It makes my world make sense again after I've gotten a chance to work out. You can ask my wife. I mean, she, she knows, she, we've been married a long time. We've been together a long time. She knows that I just, I'm addicted to it. And so for you, how many times, and again, you might need to pull out your calendar. You might need to look at your schedule for the last 12 months. How many days did you work out? So let's just say you know you worked out 150 times. Okay, so what I want you to ask yourself is, did that volume of exercise or did that number of workouts get you in the body that you're at today that you want to be in? And, you know, exercise is going to do something that nutrition is not going to do. Exercise is going to tone your body. Actually, it's going to build muscle. So you're going to feel muscles on your, and as I'm, you know, if you're listening to this on the audio, I'm actually like feeling my muscles right now. I'm touching my shoulders, my arms. If you're watching on the YouTube, then you know. But you're going to, do you feel muscles in the places that you want to feel muscles? Or do you not feel the muscles? Because if you want to feel the muscles, you need to work out more. So maybe that 150 workouts was not enough. So then I would encourage you right now, since it's the beginning of 2022, is set a goal for total number of workouts in 2022. So if you're at 150, well, kudos to you because you worked out about 150 more times than most people in 2021. So you did a great thing. But what if we bump that to 200 and we make it a goal now? Well, guess what? The fun part is now you get to track that and you get to put 200 somewhere or 200 tallies or 200 paper clips or 200 hair ties or 200 something on a dry erase board and you get to mark off one tick every time you exercise. And there might be some weeks you get to work out four or five times. There might be some weeks you work out one or two times, but now you have a goal. And, you know, it's very similar to kind of people that run a lot, you know, that we had the BCS marathon in town. And I promise you, the people that train for marathons regularly, if you were to ask most of them, they probably have a set number of miles that they would love to to run every week or every year. And it's really easy to break that down because, you know, like if I ran you know, three miles on Monday, three miles on Wednesday, three miles on Friday, and then like four miles on Sunday. Well, I ran 13 miles that week. And maybe their goal is to run 10 miles a week. And then as they prepare for their race, they start training and increase that mileage. But that's a really measurable thing that they know that if I run 10 miles a week, I'm happy. And some of those runners will say, you know, some weeks I got to run 10 miles on a weekend. And, or if they break it up during the week, they can run smaller uh, amounts. Well, What I want you to do is I want you to assess and I want you to get a pretty close number to the number of workouts you completed in 2021. Now, some of you that just started working out towards the end of the year, uh, then, you know, maybe your number is less because maybe you just started working out in the last two months. So you maybe have only worked out like 25 to 35 times. So for you, what number, what number of workouts do you want to complete in 2022? Have a number. And then when you get the total number, let's do math and just divide that by 52. And that's how many workouts you need to complete per week on average. Again, some weeks you might work out more, some some weeks you might work out less. Okay, so you have step number one is you're going to measure your body fat. Let's figure out where you are. Let's just figure out the number And then set a goal with a professional, with someone who has helped people set goals before. Set this goal for the end of 2022. Where do you want to be in your body fat percentage? My recommendation would be food journal for a month so it exposes you and you're very aware of the areas that need improvement in your diet. And then the next part to that is reflect on 2021. How many workouts did you do? And then create a goal. If you're happy with where you are, in other words, if you are, if you feel like that was, that got you the result and you feel the muscles and you feel the places that you like, your firm, your tone, then just uh, make that another goal, the same goal for this year. So, you know, if you did 150 workouts in 2021 and, it, and you're happy with where you are, then make your goal for 2022, 150 workouts. But if you're not, then let's increase that. 
and let's set a goal for more workouts. And then let's start tracking that. And same if you set your goal for the same workouts, let's track that so that we, by the end of the year, 2022, you've now, not only you've helped your body fat percentage go down, but you've also uh, set a goal for the number of workouts. Last thing I want to encourage you with, you know, I mentioned this in my book that, you know, sometimes we get caught up in the wrong thing. In other words, you know, we, we eat healthy and work out maybe sometimes for the, you know, it starts out because we want to look better and because we want to, um, fit in our clothes better. But in reality, guys, this is about so much more. So don't get so caught up in that part of it. Yes, we we do want to be at a healthy weight. And yes, we want to feel better in our clothes. And yes, we want to look better. But more than anything, guys, I want you to feel amazing. I want you to wake up every day and I want you to be happy in your body. I want you to wake up and I want you to know that you're healthy. I want you to feel healthy. I want you to be mentally sharp. I want you to be awake. I want you to be present. I want you to have energy. I want you to be confident. I want you to, all the things that exercise can give you and all the things that eating healthy can give you, I want you to experience. And it's so much more than looking good. It's so much more than losing weight. And don't get caught up on those details because if you do, then what happens is you actually pay attention to the wrong thing that causes those areas maybe you know, maybe to never be enough. Maybe you're never going to be lean enough or maybe you're never going to lose enough weight. But if you focus on the things like, you know what, I feel so much better than I did when I wasn't doing anything. Or you know what, I feel healthy and I, I'm making good choices. So guys, I, I in my book, I say, I, I use that as an example. It's the things that you cannot do measure on a scale. And that's what exercise has the ability to give you. If I were to look back at my life 21 years ago, when I was 242 pounds, and I was overweight. And I remember thinking to myself, there's, you know, being healthy and fit is for those other people. It's not for somebody like me. And I, you know, I started working out. I, 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 many of you know my story. I measured two miles in my neighborhood. I was 18 years old. I was senior in high school and I could barely jog a, a block. In other words, from a stop sign to a stop sign without walking. And I remember how hard that was. And then I started walking and then I jogged and I walked. But if I look back at that time, I would have never known that the reason I started working out, which was to lose weight, to get in better shape. At at that age, I just wanted the girls to like me if I'm completely honest. But if, 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 if I were to look, if I were to look ahead at what exercise has done for me now, and I could have actually looked past the weight loss and just looked past looking good in a bathing suit and with my shirt off and actually realized that there's so much more to this thing than just those things. I feel like, man, I would have done it a lot faster because I didn't. It didn't. It didn't happen fast for me. For some of you, you guys get results a lot faster than I did. It took me. I, you know, I'm still on a journey, and now the only re, the only thing that's different is that I know I do this for more than body fat percentage or the way it looks. I I do that. This is truly for me something that gives me life. It, it makes me complete. And I don't know how else to verbalize it other than that. That's why the podcast is called Building Better People because exercise has made me a better version of myself in just about every area, well, in every area of my life. And I that's exactly what I want it to do for you. So 2022 is here. Don't let the next 12 months go by and feel like you didn't get anywhere in your health and fitness. Get your body fat measured and set a number of workout goals and set a body fat percentage goal and find somebody to help you to to reach your goals by the end of the year. I love you guys. I'm so excited for the year and I can't wait to hear some more success stories. All right, if you have any questions, if you need anything, that's exactly what we do here at BoomFit. We help people every single day to make sure that they're achieving their goals. So if that's you, if you're sitting here listening to this and you need help, please, please, please reach out to me. 
and let me know how I can help you. We can get on a phone call or we can meet in person. And I'd love to hear your story. And I'd love to guide you into the healthiest body and the healthiest uh, place you've ever been. Okay, guys. See ya. Bye.